Hello, welcome to Wayne's World of Mandolin. I'm Wayne Benson, and I think it's Eat Your Vegetables Day, as you might want to call it. We're going to really grind a little bit on some memorization of scales, learning the scale from the lowest possible note of that scale that we have available on the mandolin. This is more than likely something that you've not you know, really invested much of yourself into if some of the other videos that I've made have helped you to discover the modes and exactly how useful the scales are, then maybe you'll have enough ambition to stick it out and learn some of this. If you would refer to, there's a video that, that I did, it's an interval exercise in first position, G major scale. We're going to let that kind of be the template for what I'm talking about today. In other words, you want to put yourself through the same exact exercises that we talk about with that with each one of the scales that I'm going to run through today with. The lowest note being the note that we start on. I'm going to, The E scale is coming up first today. If I were to say, play the E scale in first position, a lot of people would more than likely... Play that shape, which is great because there's a lot of information that we stack onto that shape and we use it in so many different ways. However, we would want to take advantage of the open notes by playing an open A and an open E string. So that gets us from E here up to this E, which is open. But look how many intervals that we're not playing. Those are all notes of the E scale also. So our lowest interval for that scale is an A flat note, the first fret of the G string. Look how I'm fingering that. One, two. On the index finger, then four, six. Same line repeats. One, two. Four, six. You might remember me talking about how many times these patterns like this that we memorize stack on top of each other exactly the same frets that we're playing with our fingers. We're seeing that there. Now we have an open A. Two, four, six. Open E. Two, four, and then we could play the seventh fret with our pinky. That's all first position. E scale, every interval in first position. So I have these wrote down for you. And instead of a tab line, which you can learn a lot of stuff from tab, but it tends to be that if you use tab to learn melodies, and when you think about that line of tab and you're trying to get each one of them memorized, so when you finish with that line, you're just moving on to what's next. And we kind of get programmed that way using tab. So I don't want to tab the scale and, and then be tempted to feel that way about the scale because it's very foundational information. It's not like one tune that we're memorizing. This is really how we learn to play. So if you look at the way I have this wrote down for you, I like to put the strings in the order that they are on the mandolin instead of the way tab is flipped, you know, to where your E strings would be on the top line of tab. The G is up top, then D, A, and E. If you look at the top of the page, the E scale is the first one. And then those numbers represent the frets that I just played. So you would have one, two, four, six. One, two, four, six. Open, two, four, six. Open, two, four, five. I actually didn't put the seven on there just to keep it even so that there were four numbers on each line. But you can see that system um, promotes starting that scale on any interval of the scale. If I started here, 
look at that. There's the relative minor. One, two, three, four, five, six. C sharp minor. That's a fun chord to play out of. And when you feel that arpeggio under your fingers, then it just feels like... I have this whole bed... of E major that surrounds the shape of that chord. So that's just one example of how we're going to use different modes of this scale and we want to memorize every interval of it. So we're going to move on from E now to the F scale. This is one that I broke down in a video called Playing Dark Modes where I talked about the three particular minor chords that we would find in the F chord scale, which would be a G minor, A minor, and a D minor also. You could check that video out and again kind of use it as a point of reference that what happened with that video is going to be possible, obviously, with all of the scales. But just to really reinforce that we're, we want to start scales from the lowest note, our lowest F note is the third fret of the D string. But here, those are all intervals of the F scale just as much as those and where it falls on your ear in that major scale kind of way. When we play the whole thing all the way down to that low G, it's begging you to play it in a G minor position. But anyway, that gives you the F scale from the lowest note of that scale. So again, let's walk through that. I have the G, D, A, and the E strings listed. This is the second one from the top on the page and the F scale notes. Look at how perfectly this one splits the neck of the mandolin right in half, the top half being open two, three, five on the G and the D strings. Now the A and the E strings are open one, three, five. That's pretty dang easy to remember because it's just those two sets of things to memorize. By the way, I, I wouldn't recommend, I'm kind of throwing all of this on the table it's not like you're going to watch this video and then just have this and walk away. This could be weeks or even months of you working on these scales if you don't already know them and then trying to extract the most useful modes depending on the keys that you play in. That's the magnitude of this. It's not a, hey, let's step through this video with Wayne and learn something. You got to get away from this video and get with your mandolin and dig in. If you're going to be able to play these modes, you have to know the scale to be able to do it. So the G scale, let's just skip over that because we've talked about it and there is that video with the interval exercises and the lowest note that we have is a G note. The A scale, however, let's look at it. Again, very symmetrical. Two, four, six open two four six then bottom half it changes open two four five open two four five now maybe some of you guys already caught this but we do have one other interval the a flat note the first fret that's an interval of the a scale there it is so we don't want to leave that note out So now we've made it through four of these. Use the interval video and apply all of those exercises to these shapes or these scales and do the same thing with the rest of the scales. This is just four of them that I'm putting on the table. You really need to know this with every scale. Start from the lowest interval. All right. If this video is a help, please like it. Please subscribe to the channel. If you want some one-on-one -on -one Skype sessions, you can uh, private message me at Facebook and I'll get back with you. Enjoy the scales. Eat your vegetables.